This project is sponsored by Altium Designer, which is one of the best PCB design software in the world. By using the software, you can make circuit diagrams very easily. Also, you can design your own professional PCBs. Altium is now included with Altium 365 in one license. With Altium 365, you can share your designs on the web and get feedback to your designs. Visit Octopart.com as a best electronic components site. Octopart gives you the most affordable data by specifications, data sheets, cut models, Hello. etc. An EMF or electromagnetic field meter is a device used to measure electromagnetic radiation in a given area. EMF meters are used to detect and measure the strength of electromagnetic fields emitted by various sources such are such as electrical appliances, power lines, wireless devices and other electronic equipment. These instruments are commonly used in scientific research, industrial and commercial settings as well as in residential areas to assess potential health, health risk associated with prolonged exposure to high levels of electromagnetic, of electromagnetic radiation. EMF meters can also be used by individuals who are concerned about their personal exposure to electromagnetic fields, especially those who suffer from electromagnetic hypersensitivity. In one of my previous videos, I described a way of making a very sensitive device like this, but in, it requires a lot of experimental setup. The EMF detector described in this video has a minimal number of components, which means that it is simple to make and does not require any tuning. It works great right from the first power on. Due to the simplicity, the sensitivity is not extremely high as in the previous case, but it is still enough to detect a power cable in the wall. It also has a large clearly visible progress bar as well as the value of the field expressed in the relative number. As I mentioned before, the device is very simple to build and consists of several components. Arduino Nano Microcontroller, SH1106 or SSD1406 OLED display and buzzer. An, order in, an ordinary short wire can be used for an antenna or is in this particular case a small piece of copper pipe. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. After switching on, uh, the logo appears first and after a few seconds the main screen. Now we have to wait for a certain time until uh, the value of the EMF field stabilized around zero if there is no source of radiation near the device. Uh, in addition to the visual, the EMF detector also has a sound signal with three different frequencies, 100, 500 and 1000 Hz, proportional to the strength of the field. Straight of the field. The thresholds at which the frequencies change are defined in the code.
This device is also sensitive to static electricity, which means it can also be used as an electroscope. To demonstrate this property, I will electrify a plastic rod by rubbing it with a clothes. And finally, the device is installed in a suitable box made of a PVC material and lined with colored self-adhesive tape. In fact, I used the box from one of my previous project, projects, so the light sensor have no function in this specific project. 